Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel where we talk about all things Facebook ads. And today I wanna to answer the question, how do you target multiple countries with your meta ads? It can be very confusing, especially when you kind of haven't gone through it yourself. It can be really mind boggling. Like, is this right? Is this wrong? Am I gonna mess up anything? Like, what is the best way in overthinking it? So let's just cut to the chase. I'm gonna answer that question for you. But if you don't know who I am, my name is Sydney. I am the owner of Vertex Marketing Agency. On this channel, we talk about all things Facebook ads. And if you aren't subscribed yet, you definitely should be and if this video helps you definitely hit that thumbs up button all right so I think it kind of depends on a few different situations all right so I'm gonna run you through a few different ones and let you know what I would probably do in that situation again it can depend and there's like some really unique businesses out there where I'm like hmm good question but I hope this gives you a kind of a high level overview so let's say for example you are a company uh, big or small and you're targeting Canada and the US both pretty close both relatively similar. In this case, like really the only recommendation that I would have is to have one single ad account and then target Canada inside of one campaign and US inside of another. Now, whatever is your country of origin or I guess where you started advertising, whatever winning ads are inside of your tests, you know, whatever tests that you launch for your creatives, whatever ones are winning, put them into your Canada and into your US campaign. And that's really honestly the easiest way of managing it. If you need specific creatives for Canada and specific specific creatives for the US. You have one testing campaign for Canada and one core campaign. So any tests that you do for Canada and your creatives, those winning ads go into your core Canada campaign. And then for the US, you have a testing campaign for the US and then a core campaign where all of your winning ads go. And that's really how I would most likely structure that. Now, there is another situation where some brands might either have one campaign, one ad set for Canada, one ad set for US within that campaign and then have their own ads. And that can be okay. It's just when you're looking at the campaign level, you need to know that that's kind of mixed results. And for the most part, I mean, what I typically see is that sales from Canada are not always the same as sales from the US especially if you started in Canada, it's probably your Canada sales are stronger than your US sales. And so the CPA is gonna look different. The ROAS is gonna look different. Even the CPMs are, might be even different. And so when you combine that into one single campaign, at the campaign level, your data might be a little bit skewed. And so it's actually taking the average across the two countries and then putting it together. They need to go into the ad set and see how each of those are performing. So honestly, I don't like doing it. I've mentioned in a few other videos. I prefer having each campaign as its own own separate goal for a specific demographic or a specific product. And so what I would recommend is that you separate Canada and the US from two different ad sets. And I def, I wouldn't put Canada and the US inside of the same ad set. I wouldn't do that personally, again, for that reason, but instead have Canada as its own campaign and the US as its own campaign. And that way, when you're looking at the data, you know exactly what that data means. You can compare them both equally at the campaign ad set and ad level. And Facebook has its own little brain within each of its campaigns and ad sets and ads. It can better understand who it is that we want to target without skewing the data or piling a bunch of ad spend into a specific demographic when you want to potentially even penetrate a different market. And that's typically what I see is that if you start advertising in Canada and then go to the US, let's say they were both in the same campaign and same ad set, most of your ad spend would just go to the US. And so you can't decide to put more into Canada, even if you wanted to. So I typically don't recommend combining two big countries like that. That actually might be different if you're on the European side of the continent um, and there's multiple countries that are so close together within like a couple hours driving distance. That's not where I currently live. So our clients typically are from Canada or the US, but in that case, it actually might be okay to combine all those different countries together because they're relatively similar. They're very close. And in that case, I mean, putting them all together wouldn't really hurt. It'd actually probably be even better because it would make your audience size bigger and then Facebook can actually do the targeting. All right. So now let's say you are targeting the US and that is where you currently are, but you now want to penetrate into the UK and that's where you want to be advertising. Now, in this case, again, both totally 
separate markets, different side of the world. Shipping is gonna be different. Your product fulfillment is gonna be different. The shipping times are gonna be different. And so in that case, I again, highly recommend keeping those two campaigns totally separate. I guess this is kind of when the question comes, should I create a new ad account for different countries? And usually in most cases, I'm gonna say no. Ideally, you can keep all of your country, different country advertising within the same meta account. And you're just dividing the different countries by different campaigns. Now, this is the only exception to this might be is if you have a worldwide brand, like you are the biggest brand, like think of like giant D2C brands out there. D2C means direct to consumer, if for anyone who doesn't know. You got giant companies and you have multiple teams in different parts of the world who are running the ads. And that typically happens when a it's kind of like a, I guess, a franchise type of structure for different regions. In that case, there might be, you know, this guy and this guy and this guy all working on the same meta ads account. And so in that case, because there can be issues with compromised accounts, I mean, hacking is super, not popular, but I guess common these days, <laughs> we don't want it to be popular. By having so many different people from different places logging into the same account and then, you know, having a specific campaign dedicated to them might actually be confusing and could put the ad account at risk. So in this case, if you have basically more than two or three regions or teams working on an ad account with their own specific tasks, I suppose, in that case, I'd probably recommend that you have separate ad accounts. And that way, you know, team from Europe, they advertise with this ad account in that region. Team from US and Canada, they advertise in this region with this specific ad account and actually keeping it separate. So that's really the only situation where I might recommend that because in any situation where the account is compromised or it's hacked or disabled even, which can happen from different levels of expertise or just a bug sometimes with Facebook, then not all regions are affected. When it's one single person who's you know managing these different regions, that's really no problem. And again, for the most part, I say everything should be within the same ad account. Different countries should be divided into different campaigns or different ad sets at the bare minimum, unless you live in a place where your countries are so close together. But especially when countries are different culture, different regions, uh, different time zone even, I would recommend that you have them inside different campaigns and that they are named accordingly. So you know exactly what these results are for, how to interpret them and how to read that data. So. Let me know if it helped. I hope it was a relatively simple answer. There are a lot of variations when it comes to how the people want to structure this. This is really just what I've seen to be the easiest and kind of the easiest to keep up with. So let me know in the comment section, do you have any other objections to that or do you organize your different countries differently? Uh, let me know. That's it for today. I hope that helped. Hit the thumbs up button if it did and I will see you in the next video.